the south end of this large pedestrian mall that has a pedestrianized street that has two subway or uh, tram or trolley tracks on it and the trolleys actually run back and forth which is wise because this is a long uh, couple of blocks if not more than that and uh, it gives access easy to all of the shops here are the obligatory McDonald's and further down on the right at the top of the building Kentucky Fried Chicken greenery there on the right and I think this sports many of the name brands that I've seen in browsing the GQ magazine and uh, Town and Country and Vogue Again, is a pretty painted entryway, but with the what would normally be an oval or a circle seems to be purposely obstructed. Maybe it's reflecting a scroll partially unwound. Unwound. Those little figurines on top. This is the second restaurant that I've eaten in. I'm going to have fried lamb with cumin, whatever that is, but I wanted to show you, read off some of the names of some of the foods that are available. Everything's available. Cooked tripe of sheep or swine. Don't know like, if I choose to draw the distinction. Small donkey of your local something or other. The elbow spends local color flavor sauce, whatever that means. Drunk fish of grandma does. Beautifully extreme duck tongue, pork lungs, and chili sauce. Fern break sour and hot turns to powder completely. Small incense pig hand. And this is a self restraint Sichuan sausage. I'm not joking about these things as much as I find them just kind of cute. That they interpret our language. God knows we couldn't even begin to do theirs, but here you get a clue of what they're talking about. Hand peels of bamboo shoot, which probably means hand peeled bamboo shoot. River incense hair tail, probably a certain kind of fish. Nut spinach, that may be some kind of nut and then cooked with spinach. That could be pretty good. Do the ball frying vegetable. Here an eggplant grows a kidney bean. That could be interesting. I just don't know if it's hot or cold. Bamboo incense pan tears chicken. That may be like torn chicken, however they say it. Here the delicious Liang eats a shrimp. The winter mushroom fertilizes the cattle boiler. Humble cottage sautéed bullfrog and chili sauce. The incense burns the cosmetology hoof. All rough blood of fog is flourishing. The palace explodes to understand shrimp ball. Lots of little restaurants and little shops. I have no idea what's inside those little bottles like that. Sometimes they actually have menus in English. Looks like large unruly Napa can cabbage. Much is familiar here. Some not so familiar. I'll walk back up this way because it appears to be the only way out of here. Like everywhere else, it all goes down manually.
这儿有水了，我搬泥板啊。我这么会说，我这么会玩。And if you look at those steps, apparently they fill in the vertical gap on the rise with cement. Mm -hmm. Keep right on laughing while they're working. That's a good sign. What's interesting is that they apparently are able to do this so that over time you don't get that rippling effect or worse. This is a shrine to, I think it's General Shoulder. I walked by this this morning on my route to the metro station. I've now taken a slightly different route back and that takes me into this and it's very interesting. It was all destroyed, literally demolished when they built the subway and then as a tribute to him uh, they rebuilt all this which is a maze of passageways here that you can take um, and little alcoves where couples like these folks get some privacy except when an old fart like me decides to invade it. It's very much like a rocky garden with trails and flowers. It reminds me of a very large version of a Japanese or what we would think of as an oriental decorative garden. There you can see water there, a bridge. Here it overlooks the lake. the model shooting it looked like. This is where we are right now, is up here. And I think my hostel is right about in here somewhere. And this is a continuation of that southern route of lakes that goes down to the Forbidden City. This is part of a drawing that depicts the famous bridge somewhere on the system. I'll probably see it soon. I think it's on the bigger lake. It's maybe some old um, astronomical devices. Huh, that's interesting. I haven't seen anything that looked like that before. Huh. You can imagine this device with that thin rod in the center being some form of a more sophisticated sundial. And you'll notice that on about the second dark ring in and the outer ring, there are different markings on each ring, but they're all regular on each ring. Some kind of very old calibration device. I don't know what it is. I don't know the Chinese, of course. This drawing may illustrate the map making functions that apparently took place here. Here's a stamp with that uh, first astrological or astronomical device that we saw. This rig looks like a golfing rig. Perhaps it holds all of that different rigging and more. This is a lovely lakeside road with uh, that lakeside walkway underneath these weeping willows.
and this is what's being replaced, these metal railings with the cement pillars. Hey, they're going to rebuild that wall there is what they're doing and it's going to look very pretty. I'll show you the elements. That pieces there are standing on edge in preparation for being laid down in the trench they've dug when they cement it in and level it and it'll be in place like those are. Okay. Okay, the element on the right is standing on edge, on its edge. It's going to be laid down like the ones to the left there in a bed of cement. And then on top of that will be placed these very lovely um, cement architectural features that I believe then create the wall. Now my guess is that that other rock that you see or cement that looks very old and because it is uh, will then be hauled away when the job is finished. Hopefully they'll bring in a backhoe for removing that stuff for the front end loader. The problem with bringing in even a manual cement making machine is that you would eliminate two or three of these jobs. They just piled all those big slabs of rock or of cement squares up in a pile by hand for what reason I don't know.